Hey everyone, welcome back to Scrummy. I hope you're all enjoying the videos and today I've got another lovely recipe for you. I've actually had my first request for a beef and Guinness stew from a Mary Riley in New York. She wants to make it for St. Patrick's Day. I've actually tried out this recipe last week for a family occasion and it went down really well. I met it in a slow cooker. Today I'm just gonna make it in a casserole dish, but I will include all the instructions and the timings for slow cooker in the recipe. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare the meat. And to do that, I'm gonna coat it in some flour and some salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna put the flour in there, and the salt and pepper. My mum always did this when she was making a stew. She always coated the meat in flour and seasoning. I think it helps give a nice color to the stew as well as thickening it as well. Now let's get the beef in here. And the butcher told me that this is the shoulder of beef. It's the best beef to use for a stew. So we want to coat all that meat in the flour. There you have it, that's all done. Now we're just going to gently fry this for a couple of minutes to seal the meat. All right, so into this dish, I'm just going to pour some rapeseed oil, about two tablespoons. You can use olive oil either. When the oil is nice and hot, we can start adding the meat. Just shake off any excess flour, otherwise it will burn and stick to the bottom. Okay, so we're just gonna let that fry for a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna stir it up so that all the meat is browned. Just keep stirring the meat until it's all sealed and that looks perfect. Now we've got two options. We can remove the meat from the dish and then cook our vegetables for a few minutes or we can add the veg and that's what I'm gonna do. It's much easier this way. So I'm gonna add in some onion, a little garlic, celery, and some carrots. You may need a little bit extra oil, so add a little extra oil as well. And we're gonna cook this now for a couple of minutes. Oh my goodness, this smells so good already. This is how my mum always made her stew. She browned the meat first and she added all her veg and then she added her beef stock, as simple as that. Just give it a good stir every now and again. And that's ready for us to add our stock and our Guinness. Okay, so first up is our Guinness. There's 500 mils of Guinness. I'm gonna add three bay leaves. You have to remove them afterwards. I'm adding a beef stock pot. You can use a beef stock cube either. Just add it in with some water. I also like to add two tablespoons of tomato puree. I haven't added any extra salt and pepper because I had salt and pepper in the flour that I coated the meat in. Just give that a good stir. Just making sure that you get all the little bits that are stuck to the bottom of the pan as well. That's fine now. And we're gonna simmer this for about one and a half to two hours. Just make sure to put the lid on it. All right, let's check this. Let's give it a little stir. This looks lovely and the liquid has reduced. Just check the carrots to see if they're nice and soft, and they are, and the meat is tender, just the way we want it. The liquid is still a bit runny, so I'm gonna add a little bit of corn flour to this. In here, I've got two tablespoons of corn flour with some water, I'm just gonna add it in, and that'll thicken it. Just stir it in, and cook for a further 10 to 15 minutes. And there you have it, that's it. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's take that away. It smells delicious. Now you can serve this with um, mashed potato, baby potatoes. I'm gonna have it with some potato and parsnip mash. That is my beef and Guinness stew. I really hope you like it, a fantastic dish for a cold winter or spring day, just like today when we've got snow. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe or follow my page on Facebook. I really hope you try out the recipe. If you do, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. See you again soon. Happy baking, everyone. Enjoy.